Welcome to Draconia, a brand new open world dragon MMORPG where you can play as several different species of dragon. Whether you take control of the sky or master the land, you get an opportunity to unravel the story behind Draconia through doing quests, finding secret locations, and various characters in the single and multiplayer modes. Draconia is currently in an early alpha state. After raising a modest $29,000 Canadian for funding to create this game and being in development since I think around 2020, I'm excited to see exactly where that's gotten them. You know, in comparison to some other games that, well, raised half a million dollars. Enough about this, let's jump into the game and see what we can do. Let's make a dragon. So, it seems customization is very in-depth and you have complete control over the coloring of your dragon, to the point where you can actually select a hex code if there is an exact color you want. Also seems there is a number of different patterns you can choose from. Though if you don't mix that up with your wings, it doesn't seem like it really meshes too well with the theme. And this is my dragon that I completely butchered the coloring on just to see how in-depth the system was, and it has a lot of coloring options. On top of that, we also get to choose different different aesthetics for the dragon. We can give it horns if we want to. We can change the jaw and give it some spikes. We can change the nose. We can give our dragon a nose job. Look, look at I see, I just had plastic surgery all around. Jesus, what is what is up with all these spikes? Like it's just, it's just a ton of, oh, oh my God. I gave it a bow and helmet. What? And I'm in the world as a new freshly born dra- Whoa, what on earth? Is that, what the hell is that? It's a, it's got a scepter. What is that? That's one of those worm things you can play as. It's holding a scepter or something, whatever the hell that's supposed to be. I think V is my sound. Ooh, that sounds pretty decent. Oh shit, there's a dragon here with something in its mouth too. What is that? Is this some kind of power up item? Fire right here. I'm really getting the MMORPG vibes that they try to instill on you. Uh, there's a forge here too. Are dragons able to blacksmith? Yeah, it looks like we might be able to blacksmith at some point. There's some crafting regions here too. Looks like different ores, a little hut, some cages, I assume for humans. And I can fly right off the bat. I don't need to wait to get to a certain age for me to be able to fly around, which I very much agree with. The lighting is a little bit watched out, but it... Whoa! Hello to you. You are a big chonk. You a chonky boy. Oh, shit. Okay, well, that's broken. You a chonky boy. Look at this chonk. Hey, he said all the spikes too. Oh, look at this. There's, uh, there's meat hanging here. Can we eat it? Eat or pick up? Pick up. Can we pick it up? Oh, I picked it up. Uh, where'd it go? In my inventory? Oh, shit. There is a full... It. Whoa. Oh, oh, I know what it is now. Ha ha. That's, that's what that's, that thing is in their mouth. So there is a, a, like a full inventory system. You can make a stash. You can create some different stuff. So it looks like it's just a staff for night. I can't create it because I don't have the required stuff. I will say this is a nice touch, though, to have the meat there like that. I can eat. And then I'm fine. All the bars at the bottom are kind of confusing. I'm assuming the big red one is health, and then green and, and blue are food and water. I don't know what the thunderbolt is for or the purple one. I'm assuming that's my, my mana for dragon breath because my dragon breath is purple. I like the sound, though. The sound is, whoa, really cool. Hello. Whoa, what am I locking onto you for? I'm locked onto this person. Ooh, flight feels surprisingly good. Better than I thought it would, but diving down is, uh... A little bit strange to me. It feels, um, weird. Oh, the Thunderbolt is stamina. Oh, okay. All right. They need like a system to explain that. I'm going to go ahead and try to find a place to do some quests and level up because obviously it is an MMORPG. So there will be quests and different things I need to do to gain experience. It's similar to Path of Titans. They have a questing system in their game where that's pretty much how you level up through doing missions and different quests and stuff like that. I think passive is also available now. It might be where you kind of just hang around and, and grow, you know, passively. I don't know if that's a thing in this game, but I don't really want to chance it and just wait around for a day either. So let's go quest as a dragon. Oh, there's scrolls I can read. What what are these? I'm looking for someone who can help me refill my stock of meat that Drake uh, yesterday. Ha -da 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 okay, so then it looks like these are different requests. Juvenile is not welcome. <laughs> oh, we found some dragon bones. Oh, I can harvest them. Okay. 
picked up bones and I apparently oh I did gain experience from that so I can so you can collect things in the wild or you can do quests themselves people are recommending I collect stuff because that will also level me up oh and I can collect the wood too well that's nice I really oh look I leveled up and I grew a little bit bigger nice oh and I'm a bit bigger oh god this is uh <laughs> this is really growing me it's kind of weird. The person that looks the most like me is also the one that is trying to help me right now. They are also using a dragon bone helmet thing. Okay, we're heading to a bone yard. Whoa, check that out. That looks cool up there. Floating island? What's at the floating island? I'm locked onto this person and I kind of want to shoot, but they're also trying to help me and I'm going to feel bad if I actually do damage to them. I'll do it anyways. And it did a whole lot of nothing. Okay, I act like that didn't happen. Oh, and it's getting dark now. Night time. That means N for night vision. Okay. Uh, night vision is uh, uh, very comparable to other games. Oh, check that out. Is that what they're talking about with crabs? I'm gonna burn you. Oh, I caught it on fire. <laughs> I caught it on fire. Come here. <laughs> Look at that thing run away. Uh, you better run. Oh, I'll bet you. Did you die? Oh, wait, no, I didn't die. I'll face tank you. That thing looks ugly. Oh, now it's dead. Haha. <laughs> I think it doesn't look half bad. Surprisingly, that looks pretty good, actually. Oh, I'm eating its ass. Ew. Whoa! What are you? You're a big one. Come here. Oh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna catch you on fire. You just huddled there. That one has a leaf on its back. I'll keep on burning you. Oh yeah, I toasted you. And that one had that one was different. That one had a leaf. And there's another one. I'm gonna burn you just for the sake of it. Oh, he just doesn't care. That one has. I think that one has the same shell as the one we fought last time. I'm gonna let you just cook. That's fine. Oh, another one. Whoa, so many curbs. Why are there so many curbs on this island? Look, another curb. Another curb. Damn, there's a lot of curbs. Oh, the adult sounds way different than me. Way different. I got this little squeaky. <laughs> wow, I um I, I'd like to know who the sound designer is. That's uh that's actually really good. I actually like that sound a lot. I'm pretty particular over my sounds too. And it looks like there's an alt look as well, so I don't have to change my direction of where I'm going. Look around. That's nice. And the flight system seems pretty solid too in all honesty i i actually like it a lot it's um it's a lot better than some other games that launched with their flight systems uh originally uh not a comparison to now obviously but um it still needs some work too in areas because it's a little bit buggy but overall it feels good it feels weighted it feels like there's velocity added on to it it feels really beginner friendly but also intermediate friendly as well when you want to try and get a little bit more intricate with it Hopefully they expand on this flight system in the future. All right, I was being taken to some place called the Boneyard, and I'm assuming this is the Bone... Whoa. There's... This is where the floating rocks were. Whoa, what the hell is that? Oh, it's right again, kind of. What is that? Yeah, there's a little one here. I'm gonna burn you. Oh, shit, that one fights back! Oh, it didn't really matter because it just died, like, instantly. That's what you get, punk? Ooh, what are you? Can I harvest you? I can. Oh, I used it. I don't know what I did with it, though. Did I do anything with it? No. Oh, and you go and burn, too? Oh, and now you dead? Some kind of crystal I'm harvesting right now? A deposit of something? Well, it's morning in the world of Draconia. My dragon was taking a little snooze. I just found out it could sleep. I didn't know that. And lay down, too. So I'm going to just go ahead and stand back up. I found something I wanted to show you guys. It's not really placed correctly, but... And ignore the gross texturing on this rock but i found some griffin eggs and then i realized because you can see right there griffin egg i can eat them if i want to or i can grab them so i'm gonna go ahead and grab the what just happened to that come here i don't know what i'm supposed to do with griffin eggs but i'm just gonna drop it i i i don't want to eat it because well i'm gonna eat it oh that's terrible oh i feel like a terrible person but yeah i found a nest i didn't whoa Whoa, you are beautiful. Look at all that red. Hello? Hey, up here. 
By the way, I'm fully grown. I got to level 20, which is the max growth level. You can get to level 50, but it's kind of pointless. And if I press Q, by the way, I also have a scent system so I can smell. And if there's anything down there, I'll see little streaks of red or different colors like the griffin eggs right there. You could see it little thunderbolts almost. There is something glowing down there that I don't know what exactly it is. I'm going to go down here and just take a look to see. Oh, it's a fire. Oh, it's a little human camp. I'm going to just burn this up real quick like the dragon I am. I've also noticed there's a lot of role-playing happening on this game right now. People seem to be very much into the whole RP aspect of things. Hello, how are you? Hi. How you doing? I don't think I'm going to get the chance to craft anything either, but you can craft some stashes... Uh, and then there's different materials you can break down to and create different items. I did find, too, there are different notes that I had found uh, earlier, and they were stored inside this. And I can actually turn PvP on if I want to, but I don't think I want to do that right now because I'll probably get destroyed. Oh, and also, uh, I think I can actually have some armor, a uh, neck, uh, necklace, and a piece of head armor as well as a dragon, which is kind of cool. I'm just going to fly up here real quick and take a look around... There were some dragons here. I don't know what they're collecting. Like that guy down right there, there was that red dragon that was there. And there was another one I saw earlier, but I don't know where that one went either. And this is the dragon wasteland boneyard. Dragon boneyard. Yeah, there we go. The <laughs> dragon boneyard is what this is. Uh, it doesn't really look like there's too much there. I see something down there. What is that? Whoa, look at the size of this rib cage. This, there's no way that's a dragon. No way. That would be massive. I need to get a drink because I'm low on the H2O. Let's just, okay, I can drink from this. That's good. I've noticed a lot of the texturing is kind of muddy until you've sat around for a while. I think it's an issue with the uh, the level of detail or something is what game developers have. Anyways, I'm good on water. Time to take off again. I'm gonna, whoa, wait, what's that on my ankle? What is that? I must've put that on in customization. Oh, you can go really high. Whoa, what's that down there? I'm gonna... Am I going into the clouds? Do they really have, like, actual clouds you can fly into? Oh, this looks sick! This looks so damn cool! Oh, you can fly right up into the clouds, and that, that actually looks pretty good. It's a little bit grainy. That looks so damn cool! It's a little bit grainy, and I'm assuming it's because of my graphical settings. I don't really want to mess with them, but there was something down... I can't see through the clouds. That's so cool. I want to see what this is down here, because I see something right there. And then there was a giant floating island among the clouds, too. I want to go up and see. What is this? Looks like a lot of placeholder stuff. I don't think it has any significant value right now. What's this in here? Hello. Looks like a work-in-progress human camp. Oh, that's cool. Check that. Okay, so there's torches, too. Oh, this is all work in progress. I should get out of here. I made it up to the floating rock in the clouds. Looks like there is a whole lot of nothing up here right now. Okay, I need to get out of the clouds so I can get something to drink and something to eat. I don't know where I am on the map right now. Oh, it's so cloudy. It's actually affecting how bright it is down here. Oh, that was a hard one. Okay. So I was just curious, and I wanted to jump in and check out some of the other... Wow, there's a couple people here now. I, <laughs> uh, I wanted to see some of the different creatures you could play as, such as the uh, griffin right here, which looks like a crow, and uh, it looks like a crow, basically. So I really like the idea of this staff, because now we can actually see that's a craftable item in the game. You can go to your crafting options and actually make that, if that is what that is, which I'm pretty sure... Oh my god, it's a McDonald's dragon. What do I sound like? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, that's bad. <laughs> Just gonna say it. That's, I don't like that. That is really cool looking though. And here I am as the Lindworm, I think is what it was called. I didn't quite catch its name. I just kind of wiggle on around down on the ground. Just like this. I'm no bigger than this fire, sure. I'm tiny. Oh God. McDonald's dragon, please stop. Please, please stop. Stop harassing me. I'll, I'll, I'll shoot you with whatever my right click is. I can bite, but I'll hit you. I'll hit you. I'll I'll do it. Yuck. Yeah, that's right. Ooh, what's that? Oh, 
He made me. Oh, well, how do I? I don't know how to equip that. How do I? How do I pick that up? Am I able to burrow under the ground or anything with this thing? Like you kind of just slither around on the ground, and I feel really slow. Oh, he's the big version of me. Hello. Wow, you're big, and you look cool too. I like that color design. It's kind of like you. Uh, you did it with my dragon. The color design, I mean. <laughs> Yo, look at that dragon. That is like Snow White. Damn. Oh, these things swim faster than every other creature. Are they aquatic based then? Oh, when I curl up on a little ball, when I tie. Oh, look, that's cute. It's kind of gross, actually. What if I sleep? Oh, that's so cute. You're precious. Oh, you're a precious little guy. I made it back. I made it back to the main base. Look. <laughs> oh, I hit a tree. <laughs> oh, that's awkward. We're going to act like that didn't happen. That would have been really cool if I had not hit the goddamn bridge. <laughs> oh, time to drop on down. Yeah, I'm huge now. I went on an adventure and now I'm massive. Ooh, hello. Look at that crow. Griffins are small. So small. Where's that meat? This is the meat right here. I could probably eat this actually. And oh, I can only, oh wait, no, I can eat it. Pick up, eat, wait, pick up. Oh, I grabbed a piece of meat. I drop a piece of meat. How do I eat it? Eat. Ah, there we go. That was easy. Well, that pretty well concludes this video on Draconia. My closing thoughts on this game. Draconia is the anomaly of dragon survival games. Now, what I mean by that is we have Day of Dragons, which had the absolute worst catastrophic launch possible, but it raised half a million dollars in funding to develop a game. Emberfall was in development for years, and then suddenly they went silent and development is no longer proceeding forward with that open world dragon game. But with Draconia, they had a very quiet launch, no real drama around that launch, and they raised a small modest sum to start the groundwork for their game. It's very clear to me that they've already used some of that funding for what we currently have, as well as future concept artwork that they've been working on for the game as well. As far as playability is concerned right now, there's not too much here for you to enjoy long term, thus leading me to not agree with such a high price tag for something that is pre-alpha. While there isn't too much right now available in its current state, if you pay that price, you are also paying for the development of the game. But in essence, you are taking a gamble. You are hoping and betting that they will make a game that justifies that price tag in the future and you get to experience that game along its years of development. Ultimately, I'm going to eat my own words and my own assumptions about this game about a year ago and I'm going to say I support this game for now. The future looks bright for Draconia, and I can't wait to revisit and check out the new updates that they bring to this game. All right, guys, that's it. Leave a like if you did enjoy this video, and I will see you in the next one.